Donna Lucking and this is what I do, I keep pigs. I just like being outdoors in the countryside and food, I love my food so I wanted to go back to some good tasting pork um, and a good breed that will be free range. Um, so this is a good breed, yeah, to be free range, be reared in the way we're doing it and yeah, tasting great. I definitely believe in, in keeping pigs free range out, outdoors. Um, a, they're happy and they're enjoying it. It's the way of life they want to do. Pigs naturally want to root up, make it all muddy and dig, and dig around for roots and nuts. And you see how they're devouring them today. They absolutely adore them as well as using something that's, that's wasted um, that would be thrown away. Pigs are a great way to, to use that waste. I think it's good for the animal welfare, good for the flavour of the meat and good for the pigs. the pig um, that was for Tom's feast was, was reared here um, with these pigs he was in here eating on the same waste food bread and the apples that, that were here and he's already gone to sort of he's already hanging and being, being butchered today I've been a butcher started as, as a Saturday boy in 1976 riding around this village on a bicycle, delivering meat. <laughs> That's how I, how I learnt it. And um, I think it's something that should be carried on. I think that one of the best ways of understanding issues around food is actually getting together in a convivial setting and eating it. My name is Patrick Holden and I'm the Chief Executive of the Sustainable Food Trust. I think this is a, a great gathering uh, in a very atmospheric building and it's so appropriate that we should be having this feast, uh, focusing attention on the scandalous way in which so much of the food that's produced uh, on farms and also after it leaves the farm uh, is never eaten. I mean, it's been estimated that 40 or 50 percent of all the food that's grown never finds its way actually into a human being. Nothing could epitomize that more uh, than the story of the pig, because we produce all this food uh, for various reasons. Uh, it doesn't meet supermarket specifications or it goes out of date. And in the old days, you used to be able to feed that in the form of swill to pigs. And unfortunately now, people have been so frightened of animal diseases and human diseases which could come from the waste, uh, that that's been banned. So it's very appropriate that we're eating a, a pig here that has been fed on uh, food waste.